Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. The topic of this video is going to be our album page reports, and we're going to show you how to use those and how to modify them. If, before I do that, uh, Windows 10 just came out uh, yesterday, and I upgraded one of our computers to Windows 10. Uh, one thing, we've had a couple reports already where if you're using Stamp Manager on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, you need to deactivate before you upgrade to Windows 10. So that's very simple to do. You're just going to select Tools, Licensing, Deactivate. So you deactivate your license, upgrade to Windows 10, and then type it in or copy and paste it in again after you've upgraded to Windows 10. If for some reason you haven't been able to do that or you were not able to do that, just email us your code and we can do that uh, over the Internet. Anyway, back to the subject. Album page reports and stamp manage. There's two types of album page reports, uh, a report that shows the items that you've inventoried in your collection and a report that is uh, uh, that goes up against the Stamp Manage database. So we'll start with the collection album page report. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to select uh, an area of your collection that you want to produce the album page report for. So we can select uh, United States and we have as you can see down here we have nine items entered into the United States and so we're going to create an album page type report just for the items in our inventory uh, to do that you just right mouse click on the United States select collection report using and you'll notice here the album page report selection so you click on that and you have the usual drop down of where do I want to export this to you can print it out directly to your printer preview uh, Adobe PDF format is a great format, especially if you want to distribute the report to, uh, who knows, a dealer or customer or whatever. So uh, we're going to click on that and select Start. And it's going to ask us where do we want to save the PDF file. And so uh, it's always a good idea to save doc this type of uh, file into the Documents folder on your computer. Um, one reason for that is when you back up your computer, the default for most backup programs is just going to back up the, the files in your Documents folder, and I believe maybe your Downloads folder as well. So, anyways, so we'll just name this uh, My Collection. My Collection USA album page. Click on Save. And I noticed uh, that I also um, selected the Open uh, Open this document uh, in the in the parent application after it's finished. So, anyway, so here's the nine items we've inventoried. As you notice, it, it includes the image that you have attached to your item. So, it's going to provide that image and the description, date of release, color, perforation, etc. So now we've done that, let's look at the other type of album page report, and that is a database album page report. And so what that's going to do, let's just select the United States Airmail and database report using album pages. And what that's going to do is, sh is produce album page report for all United States Airmail stamps in the stamp managed database. So. We just preview this time, click on start, and it's producing a report that shows all United States Airmail stamps along with uh, uh, stock images that we provide with the program as well. So once in the preview screen, it's been updated uh, quite a bit. You can zoom in very closely if you want to, zoom out quick print, export, etc., etc. So, Anyway, that's how you output the reports. Now, let's say you want to change what fields uh, show up on these uh, on these album pages. What you're going to do is select Reports, Edit Labels, because we're outputting labels in the album page report. So you say Edit Labels, and there's two files you need to be aware of, the database album page label file or template and the stamp album page template. The stamp album page template is used when you output uh, the collection type album page report. So let's edit that. And here it's going to bring up the report designer for for labels. And as you can see here we have the 
we have uh, the image description uh, the that's the date of issue perforation color etc so uh, now to change what appears in a particular uh, text field basically you just double click on it and previously it was stamp color which show, shows up there you can easily go ahead and change it to something else anything you want to asking price for example uh, cache maker comments condition let's make let's just make a condition so we'll make it stamp dot condition Save changes, yes. Uh, note that you're you're changing the template that's used for stamp album page reports. If you want to create separate templates for different types of album pages, you would save it under a different name. And if you do that, you're going to have to use the output labels using, but I'll show you that later. So here we're going to right mouse click collection report using album page report. Let's preview again. And the stamps that have uh, conditions listed, you see here that field has been changed. Now if you were, were to create multiple album page reports, you could select output labels using and then just choose the file that you created and saved uh, to, to output the different format of uh, album page. So anyways, that's a uh, that's a brief explanation of album page reports. Appreciate you listening. Thank you.